Hey everybody, it's Christine up today with a new layout for Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. And I am using their Creative Photo Corners to create a unique element to add to my layout. Today I'm going to be using them to make some triangle shapes to put together a couple of Christmas trees. So you can see that I am going across creating a line and I'm just placing them on there one by one right next to each other. And then to create the second row, I am tucking them in underneath um, staggered so that the points are in between the previous two points. So each row will get smaller as we work our way up until I create a complete triangle. And I'm gonna create six of these to put together two trees, one bigger and one smaller one. So I'm not gonna make you sit through all of that, but you get the idea of how I put these together. All in, this took a couple of packages of Creative Photo Corners, so not an excessive amount by any means. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the bottom line just to shrink them a little bit and to keep it so that just the textured part is showing. I'm gonna put these together on my layout and I am gonna just layer them one on top of the other, doing the big one on the left hand side and the smaller one on the right hand side. I'm using my Easy Runner Grand to add each of those on there. Now I am going to be using the Simple Stories Jingle All the Way collection for this layout. I love this background paper and it's kind of a unique look for me. I don't typically use a bold patterned paper for my full base um, but I thought with the white trees I would be able to make it work and still make things pop but definitely not something that you see me do a whole lot of so I'm getting the trees on there and you can see I am definitely using the background paper to make sure that they're lined up which that worked out really nicely <laughs> um, just to make sure that things didn't get off or wonky or anything. So now next I'm going to go ahead and add my pictures on. The pictures I cut out in a circular shape and I did them in varying sizes and I ended up using three pictures of my three sons all from the same event so they have all similar backgrounds and that kind of stuff. Um, again something that I think is kind of important like when you're using a bold background like this you want your pictures to have some unity to them um, so that they don't get completely lost and so you can see all three of these have a darker background Ground. And so that helps keep them unified in the layout. So I'm going to add those using some crafty foam tape. I definitely wanted them to pop up off of the layout. And so the crafty foam tape is perfect for that, um, giving them some dimension, but also being quick for adding on versus um, adding a whole bunch of 3D foam squares. Now that I've got the pictures on there, I'm going to go ahead and begin my embellishing and my title work. So I'm going to use stickers from this collection to decorate. I decided to go with kind of a Santa Claus theme, and so I tucked this Santa Claus sleigh and a reindeer underneath my pictures. It's actually one sticker, but I cut it. And so I'm making it work its way across the layout. You can also see that I added Merry Christmas down at the bottom. That is a uh, foam sticker from this same collection. Um, and I love the way the red really pops down there at the bottom of the tree. You can see I'm popping up this Santa Claus sticker using some 3D foam adhesives. And then I'm going to go ahead and kind of finish out clusters on this layout with some heart stickers. So I really want to add just some little, little stuff around them. And so I'm going to just pull heart stickers from both the cardstock stickers as well as the um, sticker book that comes with this collection and just use all of them to accentuate those little, well, not really accentuate, but really turn them into embellishment clusters. 
Next up, I'm going to add some Green Nouveau drops around each of them again to start to really build out those clusters. And at this point, I'm still feeling like I want to get a little more on the layout. Um, I feel like it's still a little bit bare, um, but it's tricky with this kind of a pattern paper base. You are a little bit limited so that things don't get so busy. So as I'm adding these, I'm considering what my next option is. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get one more Santa sticker and I'm going to tuck it in right above the title. I'm going to get a, actually cut it off so that it's short enough to fit in there without overlapping with anything else. And then I will just use the same process to create a cluster there with some Nuvo drops and hearts and I feel like that helps to kind of complete things a little bit more. I do want to add one more thing and that is going to be I'm going to add some tags and some loose twine flowing um, on the layout. So that I'm going to do just simply to add a little bit more. Um, I don't want it to distract from anything but I just want a little bit more movement and play on the layout. I just happen to have a tag in my stash old old probably at least six or seven years old um that was a perfect match and so i'm gonna tuck that in above that top picture there and then i'm just gonna add some flowy black twine right by it I am not going to secure the twine. I'm going to tie it onto the to the tag, but I'm not going to secure it in a specific spot. I'm going to kind of just let it sit and land where it lands. Um, when I take pictures of this, I'll obviously secure it, but um, <laughs> or not secure it, but make sure it's in a specific spot. <laughs> but um, then I'm going to just leave it so it can kind of flow on its own. So I'm not going to use like adhesive dots or anything today specifically to add it in. I am kind of just tucking it into elements on the layout. Um, but I didn't want to um, have it. I don't know. I just didn't want to stick it on there. I wanted it to have a little bit of movement. So now I'm also going to add some in a couple other spots to keep the cohesiveness going. So I'm going to tuck it in down there at the bottom right side. Again, I'm not necessarily securing it at the end. I'm just making sure it's secure tucked in on the beginning of the twine, obviously, because it has to stick on there somehow. And then I'll do some at the bottom as well. And that is it. So thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to hit the Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L blog and check out close-ups of this layout. And we will see you again soon.